This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys welcome back to one more video and in this video we will be taking a look on how to exploit or how to pen test wordpress websites. But before going to the video we are having announcements here we have launched the second batch of master course for bug bounties and it is starting in somewhere around 5 days so take a look on all the contents it's a 50 day complete master course based on beginning to the advanced techniques into bug bounties including lots of resources notes and a lot of content as you guys can see all the contents here and here are few latest reviews you can also take a look on them And the link is in the description so make sure to take a look on all the resources all the details there and let's get into the video. Alright so here we are on our computer screen. Alright so here we are on our computer screen and as you have seen in the thumbnail we will be discussing about how to pen test WordPress. Like in the previous sessions we have made a video completely based on pen testing AEMs and all these things so yes in this particular session we'll be jumping on to how to pen test with WordPress now see when we usually see WordPress what we think like doing the basic fuzzing of WP contents WP includes WP uploads right or we might be you know checking for all these types of basic endpoints but apart from that here I'm making a checklist on my GitHub you can see uh, it's a hacking watch series in which I'll be updating more and more because I have just made a basic one here but yeah so if you go to wordpress then yeah there's more lot of things to see like yeah definitely we can take a look on the common contents like includes admins to find for registers and all these things but yeah there are a few more things that we have to additionally check like in usual cases we might be jumping on to how to find the dos of it like this one just replace the url and then you can try to find dos but that's what a p5 we might be jumping on to the xml rpc all right what are you going to do with it at max get a ssrf all right that's cool but also we are usually finding this thing using nuclear and all these things to just get the user information they are also going on to the p4 p5 category so they are not very very much of an impactful thing so we have to do lots of additional content onto it like i have mentioned few links here that you should explore to have a proper cheat sheets to have common endpoints to have common fuzzing list all these things should be kind of important for you to learn and majorly if you are just taking a look on wordpress definitely go to wordpress cheat sheet but not we are you don't need cheat sheet for bug bounties we need wordpress documentation to find more endpoints that are very very easily you know secured or in most cases they are kind of you can simply say they are secured in order to protect the website because they might be leaking some sort of important data and also wordpress is kind of complicated because they might be using WooCommerce or few more plugins for you that might be very you know complicated or might be easy to pen test so on that note you have to take a look on versions and when you're gonna take a look on version of all the plugins you might need few tools in our cases we are gonna be using WP scan so that tool can help you to find more information about the WordPress site like plugins versions and regarding to that you can definitely take a look on their vulnerabilities if there are any and based upon the configuration of firewalls and all these things maybe you are able to bypass them firewalls and simply execute some sort of bug there now apart from that have a look on it information leaks simple always take a look if the registration is enabled or not because it might land into p4 category in many cases and that's really easy to find if you are able to register as an admin or not and if you are able to register without any sort of restrictions then maybe you are in the admin portal so definitely have a look on this type of issues they might be helping you a lot and yes there's a simple fuzzing list like wp includes configs for all the you know basic information that you can find and also in this particular previous video we have seen how to exploit dot git so always use that things make your own checklist make your own step by step ideology of how to exploit some specific vulnerabilities how to how to exploit some sort of specific technologies 
Now apart from that, if you're having plugins, just use WP Scan. Maybe you can check that thing. It will be helping you a lot. And also, you can definitely use Nuclear to find the plugins, or even that can just give you some sort of basic bugs, and you can try to escalate it. But dependency and automation will not take you anywhere. Always keep this thing in mind. One more thing, one a version-based exploitation. Yes, it would be all. It is always gonna be there because based upon versions, you can try to find lots of things, but also they might not be exploitable in few cases. So have a look on that. Find payloads very properly and make an exact method of how you want to exploit them. Now there is also fuzzing. You can use checklist for fuzzing into the WordPress. Let me show you. Now see, you can simply use this checklist collection for finding WordPress files, WordPress JS files. They might be having some sort of data. So always have a look on that. But apart from that, I am going to be telling you one more, which is random Robbie. And when you are going for random Robby, I'll just say simply go to WordPress random. That is one of my favorite one to test for this particular WordPress thing. Like here would be the WordPress random. So these are multiple things with few payloads here. If you can see some of them are accessible, right? Try to see if you are able to get the bug right on that point. Because these are mostly based on plugins as you can simply see here. All of them are based on plugins. So doing this won't hurt. It won't take more than a minute, it's just somewhere around 494 things to fuzz, but this can be really helpful. Even though I have posted few videos about on error based XSS and all these types of things. So yeah, they were also same on this note. So definitely have a look on these things, they will help you a lot when you are trying to find some sort of data disclosed, trying to pen test for WordPress. And this is just like few percentage of it, you can definitely take a look on the CV, they are notable CVs that can be easily found if you are working with them contact from sevens right it's not only about rc there are a few more things you might need to check newsletter plugins downloads plugins so based on these plugins you can also exploit wordpress into a few more things so have a look on all these cvs in all the functional names i'll be mentioning most of the cvs that you definitely have to take a look on them same for the jenkins right so have a look on it it's really easy to find bugs into these functional domains and also when there is WordPress going on, take a look on the website initially that how it is working. Maybe you can find broken links. Maybe there is functions that can be exploited into business logic issues that might be exploited into few more bugs. So always have a manual approach, a technological approach and a systematic way to exploit things. Alright. So I think that's the short video. You can just find this on my GitHub. And yeah, that was for the video. Thanks for watching. If any questions, something else, drop it in the comment. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys in the upcoming video.